Hello Internet and welcome back to Gix's Adventures in Skyrim. Last time it was pretty crazy, a lot of stuff happened. Um, but long story short, um, I stayed in Riverwood uh, long enough to, um, you know, do the main quest a little bit. Where uh, I was sent to Whiterun and, um, you know, mentioned the dragon and stuff like that, and they sent me back to the area of Riverwood, which is a bad neighborhood because I was chased uh, around by thugs all the time, um, to recover a stone tablet. So, here I am. I'm gonna speak to that bard. Hello! Oh, there once Hey, it's Michael! Yeah, it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. Once Mikhail gets them, they're got. <laughs> I read your book, man! Uh, what are you doing around here? I'm a bard. Trained at the Bard's College in Solitude. Right! Wanderers like you should think about applying. I was. Where is it? I guess I could ask, like, yeah, where do you learn to play? There's a whole college up in Solitude where they Solitude. teach the arts. Song, lute playing, poetry. I studied there myself. Had to leave over a misunderstanding with a headmistress. Of course. More a misunderstanding with her husband. Alright, man, I'll leave you to it. Some parting advice? Women love sonnets. Really? Well, enjoy the guitar, man. I sure am. And you look like a mercenary. Might have a use for you. Then again, that Dunmer in the, um... Drunken Huntsman, I think it was called? Hey. The security in Whiterun is terrible. Shameful is what it is. Oh, yeah? I don't know. I saw a lot of guards outside. Not that you need security, man. You seem to be able to take care of yourself pretty well. I love that little corner. You're nicely lit. So, yeah, what am I doing? Uh, essentially, uh, well, it's my first day in uh, White Run, really, so I'm just gonna explore the sites and see if I can't uh, sell most of the stuff that I have to, you know, lighten the load so I can uh, run a little bit faster, you know, from thugs. And, um, see if I can't make a few coins as well. And I thought I was in the market district. Yeah, it looks like it. So, where is everybody? What time is it? It's 7 a.m. Okay, so I'm a little bit too early, um, and this is judging, um, you know, with experience with uh, Oblivion, where most shops would open up like at 8 or 9 a.m., uh, 10 at the latest. So I guess I'll wait, but maybe, maybe the uh, I'm not gonna go there because that's the uh, yeah alchemist shop, but um, maybe the, the the shopkeepers inside or. Are available. Uh, no. It's locked for a reason. Yeah, I wasn't gonna do anything. I still had to check. Like, there's no like, I'm open sign. You should, or you should yell it. It's open. Um. All right. It's not as sunny as I thought it would be. Um. I'm really curious to see the. Um, the shops here, like the NPCs managing their stuff and trying to sell these stuff. I hope they're not too annoying, like, oh, I'll buy some fish, some smelly fish. You'll like it. Um, I'm also very curious to see the, um, the little girl that I, I met yesterday. Um, the daughter of a woman that was mentioned in Michael's book, actually. In the Gentleman's Guide to a Wide Run. And, um, I want to see how she, you know they handle the NPCs in, in this game and see where she uh, fits in all this as a little girl, like as children, right? Uh, not to be the, the creepy or anything like that, like a stalker or anything. I just am very curious to see what how they handle kids in the game. Um, what happened to this place, though? Like I'm looking at this; it's very beautiful. But I, half of it is like destroyed. I don't know. 
But I love the details though. So, yeah, that's that was the uh, Drunken Huntsman, I think, where uh, I'm thinking of hiring that Dunmer, where um, she sounded like she could take care of herself with a bow. And I think, yeah, I think a, um, a ranged companion will be perfect fit with my character, since I'll tend to focus more on melee combat, if at all. By that I mean I mean like I'm trying to avoid combat in the first place, but yeah, whatever. So I'm just gonna speed things up a little bit and uh, run around. I've got a hungry daughter to feed, so selling my produce is really the only thing I care about. Hello. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me, but that bard is the worst. Oh yeah. It's giving you some trouble. That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat, the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Huh. That's kind of annoying, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. I can take care of myself. A Whiterun woman learns how to handle a few idiot men early in life. You get a lot of attention from men? You've got no idea. Half the men in Whiterun have proposed to me. Some were even single. They'll never understand. No amount of flowers or honeyed words are going to change my mind. Right now, all that matters is my daughter Mila. No man's going to get between me and my little girl. Alright, to you, woman. Remember, fresh fruit and vegetables every day. Oh, all right. Wow, I didn't even think there was more to it than that. Like, I just read a book, you know, by Michael, or however she pronounced it, and, um... Yeah, and then it, I met the guy, and then he mentions... I don't think he, well, he still mentions women, but he didn't mention her in person, and then she mentions him, and then, wow, and I met the girl as well, like, everything connects. This is awesome. Where the hell am I? Oh, is that the temple? Nah, it's more like the prisons, right? Hall of the Dead. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, the crazy guy's still there. What time is it now? Alright, well, uh, you know what? It's almost nine. This is what I wanted to see. Mainly it's for that shop here. General goods, but I'm really curious to see uh, the NPCs Those green here. Those apples you sold me the other day were delicious, aren't they? I always set some aside for myself when the traders bring them up in the south. I'm sure you could charge double for those and still sell them all within a week. You're right. I'll have to remember that the next time I get a shipment in. How rude! Apples, eh? Good apples because uh you restore your health. Hey man, how's it going? Self fish. Fresh baked loaves. Still warm. Wow, he's nothing. silent. Eh. What do you sell? Hands off. I was gonna do anything, I was just looking. Ripe fruit and fresh vegetables for sale. Alright, dagger. Huh, okay. Guess the daughter only helps her out on uh, non rainy days, eh? Alright. 
Oh, Thor's general goods. I'll have to stop at the Smith too. Let me know if you see anything you like. Well, that for one thing, that's pretty cool. It's very shiny. Ooh, what the hell is this? Please do look around. I'm sure I have something you'll want. What's up with the fireplace and the, and the floors? Is it kinda... everything's for sale, my friend? Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. <laughs> yeah, I was going to mention that. Well, not the sister. I was going to say that. Like, I'd even sold. buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's a little joke. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was gonna say, what brings us Brenton to Skyrim? Yeah, I'm I'm one of them. So, uh, how's business? Interesting, to say the least. What with all that's been going on, on the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some well, elevated prices. All that matters is that I have what you need, and it's worth every septum. Let's see what you've got. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. I'll be the judge of that. Uh, let's see. First of all, I'm just going to go in the weapons and see what I have to sell. I already sold my weapons, or, well, the... That I can sell, although for 36 gold, it's not much. He's probably very experienced, so... That sounds good. Sell that, the hood, the robes, the amulet, the ring. I'll keep that ring. I already went there. Derp, derp, derp. Okay, uh, let's see. Weak Magicka Poison. That's handy. Ugh, yeah, sell that. Keep those. I'll keep that. And there you go. What about the books? Well, don't need that anymore. I read it. Uh, I'll keep that in mind, especially that. I'm trying to remember all the books that I've read. Uh, let's see. Thief of Virtue. I'm gonna keep that one. That's a quest, if I remember correctly. Okay. Spell tomes, I'm gonna keep them for now. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with them. Probably read them just for the sake of, like, messing around with spells. Just to see how they are. And, uh... I know, like, I recognize a few books from Oblivion, but I might as well read them again. Just to make sure. Anyways, let's see miscellaneous. I don't need, don't need, don't need, need, don't need. Well, that was interesting for crafting, but I don't think I'll ever do that again. So, voila. Okay, so what do you got? What do you got? Other than, right. Let's see, nope, don't need that actually, that's the stuff that I sold, leaks, I thought I had a leak that was pretty good, with uh, like three points of health or four, I'll buy some chicken though, goat cheese, yeah I'll be fine. Just 
Stocking up. Ugh. I'll handle my disease another way. Uh, not that I have a disease, but I mean, like, if I ever catch a disease, I'll, I'll pray to the shrines or something, I don't know. Uh, I'm assuming you can still do that. Okay, well, he's got some fairly interesting things, but I'm not in the, in the uh, market for any of those, so let's see. No. Alright. Thanks. Do come back. Not with the way you're saying it. Ugh. Like he's enjoying it too much. Anyways, so that was that. Um I think I'll go to the Smith to see if I can't sell my armor. Well not just to see if I have armor to sell, because he might not be able to buy it. And again, he sold weapons and armor, I think, so I'll stop by this, the smiths anyways. I think it's this way. Yeah. So... War Maidens. War Maidens what? And it's a guy. Nice place. Welcome. We've got small weapons as well as big. Maces, daggers, that sort of thing. I'm over here, man. Are you blind? You can never tell, like, sometimes. You know, they're... He's just a shopkeeper, right? He, like, he could be blind for all I care. Um... What do you got for sale? Hmm. Blades, helmets... Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Yeah. Oh, but I got two of those, so I can sell one. Not that I needed to sell it, but... Figured... You probably have better weapons, though. Yeah, you do. I think it's a little too early to go with magic bows. But, uh... And I got a steel dagger burning. Targets on fire take extra damage. Mmm. Tempting. Tempting. But I will resist. Oh, I can't even buy it even if I wanted to. Oh. Okay. That gives me the motive, like I just have to remember, that gives me the motive to pickpocket some more. You know, to be able to afford it. And I was looking for that. Thanks. Alright, see ya. Good doing business with ya. You look like maybe you need a new weapon. Something big, perhaps? An axe, maybe? Or a great sword? What's wrong with my dagger? Looks alright. Looks better than that. Then again, that sword is pretty cool. But, uh... I'm fine with my dagger. And how do you know what I'm wearing? Like, eh, yeah, whatever. Very nice shop, too. It's kind of a lazy day, though, to, or lousy day to be able to, um, shop around and explore. Well, whatever. I'll explore. Hey. Okay. I should probably do some pickpocketing in town when I figured. Actually, the, uh, wasn't it mentioned that the security was kind of low in town? So I should probably do that, really. But, uh... No, I want to explore outside. 